for listening to the Alpha and Omega Show. Straight out of FEMA Region 5, located in Babylon, oh. Anything that we say when it has to do with the Lord Jesus Christ is fact. It's in a book. It's Absolutely, factual. Man. Absolutely, we have so man. many we have so many things to believe in that are not true. Santa Claus, the Easter Bunny, all of this bullshit. But you're supposed to question the good book, Jesus Christ, what God you know, God and Jesus are one. The Son of Man is Jesus Christ, not some imposter, Muhammad, or whoever they say they are. We are giving, the Lord gives us free will because He wants us to choose. The devil's watching us choose on every www dot, every, every address you type in, at chat rooms or wherever you're at, you're being monitored. The Lord doesn't need to do that. Because the Lord knows your heart. People need to come awake and realize the reason you do not believe in Jesus. Even when I was in school, there was a debate on letting Bibles even in the school from the Gideons. So that's when the war started to happen when I was a kid. And my dad, would, it even started before that because my dad was raised by Pentecostal and treated the wrong, so. And as soon as they took the Bibles out of the schools, they, you can actually watch the, de the, in the decrease in yeah, the testing look, look scores. And listen, you know, they'll never keep God out of the schools as long as they keep having math tests. Because you know there's going to be some students sitting there saying, God help me with this problem right here. Well, yeah, and a lot of that student has to dig deep. And if their parents have not taught them, I believe they are not guilty of a crime or of sinning if they've never heard. Because, you know, the Lord said, give him ears, you know, pretty much, uh, let him hear. If you have ears, let him hear, you know. So if you've never discussed it, and they do not know God, then, you know, then why they're not guilty of anything until they learn who the Lord really is. Yeah, because here's, here's the similarity in science and then religion, okay? Science is a democracy because the peer review dictates the law, okay? That's the peers. Your peers dictate the laws from, from voting and stuff like that. Well, in religion, is a democracy too because leaders of churches dictate the laws to the people. So it's the same. Yeah, and see, and, and until we can get people to realize, and I remember hearing Christians speak and things, I thought they were nuts. You know, and there are some that are nuts. You know, there's, there's extremism in anything that you do, you know. Yeah, and how confident, how confident can you be in science and religion when it keeps changing and the leaders keep telling us different stories? You know what I mean? And then, you know what I mean? Like, when something's written down, like the Constitution and the Bible, they can never be changed, man. You know what I mean? They can never be changed. Because they're written down when they wrote them down. And you can actually find that. You can actually go back to the Dead Sea Scrolls and find it. And, and the atheists only want to use the Declaration of Independence instead of the Bible. If they would use the Bible as there would be no trial left unsolved. See what I'm saying? Because if you're judged by God, you, you, you can't, you might get away with a crime in, in court if you have money and you're, you know, a big shot or whatever. But Jesus knows everything, dude. You ever God, do, you ever do God, anagrams, man? Those tattoo things? No, anagrams. Like, means, means the same, right? Yeah, two different yeah. words means the same thing. Well, two different words, and you can take the word, take the letters from the word, 
and making new words. Yeah, I seen somebody got their tat. Their name was like, let's just say Chris, and they tattooed Chris right side up, but upside down, it said Lisa. Yeah, but this is this is actually you just take the words, the letters, and a word. You know what I mean? It's, it doesn't have to do with like the way it's drawn or anything. It's just letters and a word. Okay, like. No, like, I know like what race you mean. cars. Like it race car spelled Anthony backwards means the same. Yeah, like race car spelled backwards is race car. Right. Do you ever knew that? Yeah, I've known. Some, I mean, I, I've been seeing some of the things. You know, a lot of the things that's uh, being propagated or some of the things. I mean, I can't remember exactly. Well, what if you they are, if you take they, if you yeah. take if you take President Barack Obama, all right, just take those words. And then those letters, okay, mix them up, and you can get an Arab-backed imposter out of those letters without having any letters left over, only using well, those letters. He is. That's what he was trying to do. And what are we supposed to do? Just ignore these little hints that are left all over the world, all over the place? No, no we're not. No, we're not. But I think it's all coming out, you know. Uh, everything comes out in the wash, but the real truth. Because the government is the result of you, the people, choosing the lesser of two evils for generations. And instead of voting for someone that actually matters, you vote for the lesser of two evils. That's a fact. That's what we've been bred to do. And see, we're just now, a lot of us are, are awake to it, but, you know, whenever you talk, I mean, everybody wants to talk about haunted houses and UFOs, all this nonsense, all right? It's all nonsense. Uh, the only ghost is the Holy Ghost. I don't know where they came up with this other... You know, if you're seeing things, it's no, it's, it's because it's the first lie in the Bible, man. It's all the first lie of the Bible. <coughs> he, you, he, devil says you will be like God. Well, only God has a spirit. You don't have a spirit. You are a spirit. You don't die and float up to heaven. You die, and then if you have followed Jesus, and if you've accepted Jesus in your heart, and only He knows if you mean it or not. Yeah. Then he will come back for you and raise you up out of the grave physically like he did. Yeah, see, that's what that was my thing on swearing and, you know, the Lord knows your heart. He knows if you really mean what you say. And I've made a decision in my life. And I know you have. But m many people haven't. They're fighting a losing battle. Yeah, because when you when you go along with the lie, man, you're living a lie. Hey, you know what's going to happen? What's up? Let's just say, let's just say that we we awoke to this bullshit, and it's not the end of time. So what's going to happen? We're going to go down the chain until people are a total slave, and there is no chance of a breakthrough because the government's controlling every aspect of communication on the planet. You see what I'm saying? So how are you going to teach Jesus if you're being monitored by NSA, um, government affiliates of the NSA or whoever? You see what I'm saying? So the Word of God is going to be, it's already being proven on the internet, I mean, people are. They've, they've tried to burn Bibles. Are being beheaded. They they've tried to burn Bibles, man. They can't kill it. It's the word of God. It's alive. It's it'll pop up somewhere else, Actually. or somebody will find it in a hole somewhere where someone buried it. It, it just you, keeps coming. You I know watched I mean? a movie. It had Denzel Washington, and I don't watch TV, but he was uh, he he had this Bible. Um, you probably remember it. Uh, he had a Bible. And he carried it around because it was the end of the world. And he had to basically, he felt in his heart that that was the only truth. And he whipped people's fucking asses, dude. Yeah, see, their, that, their, plan, their plan is to mix up our Christian values with pagan religions, pagan ideas, 
Like, you have a soul. You know what I mean? That came from pagans. Well, sure. If God, if God died for our sins, did he really die? Or did his soul go somewhere? Because he didn't have a soul. He was God in a human body. Right, yeah. I mean, it, yeah, he didn't... He wasn't born again. Yeah, he was... He, was, he raised he, himself he, out he, of the ground. He still had holes in his body. Yeah. You know what I mean? He, he told Doubt and Thomas... Put, put your finger in there and see if I'm real. You know what I mean? So if, if he died, he had to die. Just like God promised us, if we ate from the tree of knowledge, you will die. You shall surely die. Well, the devil said you shall surely not die. And what does that mean? You know what I mean? You have to really detailly understand what that really means. Well, if you have a soul that goes to heaven as soon as you die, are you really dying? You know what I mean? No. No, you, you, you have to understand that the devil mixes truth to, to cause his lies to, to work. To cause his lies to, to work. To cause his lies to, to work. To cause his lies to work. You're tuned in to the hottest show north of Ohio. Give it up for one man from Ohio and Alpha Dog. Hey, catch these guys on Streaker.com. Learn from them and listen to what they're saying. Peace out from the Andy Bond Show. Love ya. Bye. You're listening to the Alpha and Omega Show. Only on Spreaker. The way the system's set up now, I mean, it's becoming a police state on every block. Um, you can't walk through Penn Station without, you know, seeing armed Marines. You're basically bringing kids up to believe that this is how life is supposed to be. And it's not. That's It's not freedom. It's an illusion of freedom. It's an illusion of having a choice. We have before us the opportunity to forge for ourselves and for future generations a new world order.
ultimate goal that these people have in mind is the goal to um, create a one world government run by the banking industry, run by the bankers, where, and, and they're doing it in sections. The, the European currency, the euro, and, and the European constitution is one part of it. Now they're trying to do it in America with the North American Union, right? And they want to create a new currency called the Amero, right? And uh, the, whole, the, the whole agenda is to create a one world government where everybody has an, R, R, an RFID chip implanted in them, all money is to be uh, in those chips, right? There'll be no more cash. And this is giving you straight from the from them, something they want to accomplish. And all money will be in your chips. And so, any, so not, instead of having cash, anytime you have money in your, in, your, in your chip, they can take that whenever they want to take that whenever they want to. If they say you owe us this much money in taxes, they just deduct it out of your chip digitally. Total control. Total control. of being asleep are, haven't read the Bible, care nothing about God, uneducated on worldly events, ignorant and simple-minded, has cursing as a second language, loves money and earthly things, cares only for one's self, is not saved by Jesus. Oh, God. I'm having too much fun. Plus, I kind of, I read the Bible, I'm a... Pretty fascinated by the life of Christ. That's pretty, it's a pretty good trick to pull off. Come back from the dead and not scare the hell out of everybody, huh? <laughs> Jesus was the only guy that did that. You know, he's the only guy that ever came out of the fucking grave after being dead for three days where people didn't go, ah, ah, ah! The dead let the dead fucking live! Oh my god! <laughs> uh. <laughs> and yeah, anybody else, man? Anybody else? And people freak. Jesus comes out. It's like nothing. It's like ah, it's Jesus. Hey, you're a little dusty there, aren't you? Let's wipe some of that off. God, what ride with the top down, huh? <laughs> now I guess that's why he never got married. No wife would ever buy the fucking resurrection, all right? It's like sure. She sees him on Friday afternoon. He takes off with 12 fucking guys. She doesn't hear from him again till Monday. He comes in the house. She's going, and where have you been for three days, Mr. Winemaker? <laughs> Jesus is going, no, no, okay. I'll tell you where I've been. Sure. First of all, not that it's important, but I was dead. <laughs> Outside of town! I'm fighting death, hell, decomposure! I'm changing spiritual form, I'm about to come into the kingdom of God, and I go, wait a second! I better go back because she doesn't know where I've been! <laughs> yeah, it never would have worked, man. Been all kinds of press. Jesus gets divorced, wife doesn't buy resurrection, you know? Just never would have worked. What a life, huh? He was like, you think Jesus is coming back? <laughs> oh, sure. Yeah, he's skipping all the way, huh? It's been 2,000 years? Yeah, he's coming back. He's going to be on game shows. He's going to be on This Is Your Life. They're going to go, Jesus, do you remember this noise? He's going to 
and go, yeah, I can name that tune in two notes. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I figured Jesus is in heaven right now. They're going, Jesus, why don't you go back down to earth? These are troubled times. They need a symbol of peace and love again. Somebody walk in the world with real peace. Jesus is going, yeah. Sure, yeah. No, I'll go back, I'll go back. As soon as I can play the piano again, I'll be right there. Thanks a lot. I'd like be the only savior that can use his hand as a fucking whistle. Jesus, he clips. Oh. Eh, I'm not trying to make jokes about Jesus, though. I, I saw the movies. I read the Bible. He's always on the cross at the end, the crucifixion. There's always 30 or 40 Christians standing around going, it's a shame that he has to die. And Jesus is always going, well, maybe I wouldn't have to so I get a ladder and a pair of pliers. But the Bible said you're supposed to die. Oh, my Oh, tough gig, tough gig. But, but they're atheists. The Lord knows you're you're a liar. You're you're a thief. You're crooked. You're demented. Just submit it. You know what I'm saying, one man? Amen, man. Keep going. You know we're, we're all fucked up in our own way, but you you know you follow the Ten Commandments, man. Look how basic them Ten Commandments are, and we cannot get it right. Why is that? Because we are flawed. Exactly. God would give us ten commandments that everybody knows should be very easy to follow. You know, don't commit adultery, don't kill, you know, go on and on. But we all fuck every one of them up. That's why everybody's judgment's coming, man. And you all better be ready. Don't let, don't let the good Lord catch you asleep. It's kind of almost like it's not even your fault that you sin. You... You lust over a woman in your mind, and that's adultery. No, I think the whole thing, and, you know, I'm not a genius or nothing, but I think the whole thing is recognizing that you're not a robot, recognizing that you do wrong, and recognizing Jesus is the Lord. That's all. It's not complicated. And men find it hard to be humble to the Lord. To humble yourself is... Maybe some one of the hardest things in the world. Yeah, I've been there, man. I, I've been there. I, hey, I've cried on 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 the pew, man. I admit it. You know, you can call me a pussy. You want to call me a pussy? Call me put. You know, come come and call me a pussy to my face. That's the bottom line. And you know, hey, sticks and stones, whatever bullshit saying. I'm ready to fight. Then we'll then we'll drink a beer after I beat your fucking ass. Maybe you'll beat my ass. We'll still drink a fucking beer. You know? It's not about division, folks. It's about realizing fundamentals. We were all given fundamentals, and we're fucking pissing them away. Absolutely. And co-opted, man. Absolutely. Everybody's been co-opted. Just admit it. Mm-hmm. You know, why can't we all just admit it? I can admit it. I was co-opted. <laughs> when all along we all were. But you know, you can think that you you can think that you believe in Jesus and you can talk like I'm talking right now. But until you feel the Holy Spirit in you, which, you know, I've felt before and I felt it twice tonight, you can't get by that, folks. There is no way that that didn't happen. The Bible, and I've doubted it many times. It is a stumbling block. That's why, you know, they had read a book month or something like that. I was listening to Goofy Bone, man. I like Goofy Bone. He's a funny dude, man. But they had a national read a book month on his show. And uh, I wasn't a big book reader. I read what I had to read, and I, I read other things, but not just not books. But I find it 
like my stepdaughter is a big book reader and she's very smart. She's an arguer. She's more of a free thinker. And I think that's what book readers have, like we have. I think our the rebel in us is what makes us who we are because it took me a lot to believe in Jesus, man. It did. You know, I, I thought, man, I'm an atheist. Fuck that shit. That's the truth. I'm going to tell you like it is. Yeah, you, you almost, your heart hardens. You know I mean, that's what it means by the your heart being hardened. You think you're hard enough to take it all on the chin, and you're not. Yeah, but we're supposed to think that, you know, saying a curse word, if it's not derogatory, you know, it's, you say you say the word fuck. I, I really do not believe that we're being tried for saying a word that w when we're describing something other than sex, unless you're, I, I would only think that actually when you're married, but I think that people have taken Christianity above and beyond. You're trying to make us perfect when we will never be perfect. It's impossible. When you cuss, it's, it's a lack of knowledge in the words that you want to express. That's true. I mean, you, you very seldom hear intelligent people. You know, hey, I just speak what other people are scared to say, man. You know, you guys, they're all scared. I'm not scared. What? You know, you're the ones talking about guns. Hey, them guns are not going to save you guys, man. You guys are fucking mistaken. The only thing that will ever save you is Jesus. You're going to get your fucking brains blowed out whether you got a, 10 years of fucking rice. You have all the rice you fucking want, man. You guys are wasting your fucking money. You might as well enjoy your life while you're here. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here, man. No, I'm just telling the truth, man. You know, you might as well enjoy yourself while you're fucking here because rice, aroni, and tuna, and jungle boots, and AR-15s, oh, what the fuck, dude? You're going to die whether it's fucking when martial law happens or fucking... You know, when they hunt you down and fucking kill you, it doesn't matter. You better get right with God. Maybe the guy that kills me will need some boots, man. So I, just just come to my house and shoot me in the fucking head when it's time. Because, you know, I'll come with you. I'll come with you with whatever I can. But just fucking blow me away. I'm, I'm done with it. You got you to gotta pursue happiness. Or <sighs> what's the point in living? People are fucked up, dude. Endure, you have to endure to the end. You being alive in a certain spot in a certain time may change someone's perspective on life. You may save another soul, another <clears throat> individual. That's what Jesus uses you for. You know, when, when you start talking about God, everybody leaves the room. <laughs> you're running, Pete Santilli would say, you're running people off. <laughs> One man, you're, you're scaring everybody. But, like you know, you, you want to sit there and talk about false, fucking false flags and Alex Jones and everything, you know, fuck, dude. Let's, hey, let's get it real, man. Personally, I took it as credibility, man, because he's supposed to be, like, one of the roughest dudes around when it comes to radio. Dude, I, I would fucking and eat that fucker for breakfast, me, he dude. He told me that Not I, was being, I was being too scary, you know what I mean? So, I took it as dude. a compliment. He's a punk. He's all about Ray. You can tell how he talks, dude. You don't, um, you don't go swimming unless you get wet, man, you know? It is perpetual war when you can drop bombs on any country, when you can drop bombs on any country, when you can drop bombs on any country, and then claim that it's not war. It is perpetual war when you can drop bombs on any country, when you can drop bombs on any country, when you can drop bombs on any country, and then claim that it's not war. That's badass.